Shortly after conducting an exorcism to drive evil spirits from Greyfriars Kirkyard in Edinburgh, Scotland, Minister Colin Grant died. Some believe that whatever forces Grant battled at Greyfriars were so powerful that they killed him. Now Colin Grant's son, who is also a minister, has come back to finish the job his father started. In the 17th century, Greyfriars Churchyard became a death camp for Scottish Protestants, known as the Covenanters. They were hunted like outlaws, and women, children, were executed. Women especially, they were given a choice, recant or be burned. Overlooking the Covenanters' mass grave stands the tomb of their tormentor, Lady George Mackenzie. There has always been a legend that George Mackenzie cannot rest in peace in his tomb, in his coffin, because of what he did to the Covenanters. By 1999, Greyfriars Churchyard had become a vortex of malevolent spirit activity. I've had people coming out with bruises and scratches, marks on them. I've had loads of people fainting. The most recent blackout that occurred on the tours was two weeks ago. We had an American guy and he blacked out. We were just inside the Covenanters' prison. He grabbed onto one of his friends and fell over, and I was just lying there on the ground. I actually went to Jan, my boss, and, uh, and uh, said that I was going to quit because I was too scared to go in there anymore. Hoping to quell the spirits, Reverend Colin Grant performed an exorcism. Two weeks later, he was dead. Whatever it is that's in here, we call it a poltergeist. It might try to push you around a bit. Despite the dangers, visitors are still drawn to Greyfriars. There's a few different manifestations of it, but before we go in there, I'd just like to ask a couple of questions first. Is anyone on the tour pregnant or thinks they might be pregnant? Because if you are, I would not come in here, okay? Other things, if anyone suffers from panic attacks or severe anxiety attacks or anything like that, do not come in here. Right, is everyone, is everyone okay then? If you're being pushed or attacked or shoved or kicked or strangled or punched by something that just isn't there, please tell me immediately. Okay. So, if you'd all like to come with me, we'll go into the Black Mausoleum. Right, right to the very back, please, Pete. Push right into the back and into the edge of stacks. who hid in there from the police. He was a failed highway man. He got caught and broke out of prison. And he hid in the bottom of Mackenzie's tomb for about six months. When he came out, he was totally insane. He said that the coffins never stayed in the same place for a night because the man was so evil, his body can't rest in peace. <laughs> Your friends just run out. Your friends just run out. Is she OK? Uh, sorry. I'll... If you guys could just wait a second, I'll just go and see if it's lady from here. What's wrong? What are you feeling? I don't know. I just really got really, really cold. And um, I, couldn't, like, I was holding on to Susan and I couldn't feel her anymore. And I was just really, really cold. And I started to feel sick. And um, I just I had to get out, basically. And I, just, I was just so cold. Like, I'm still like really, really cold. I'm just shaking. Until now, the Reverend Colin Grant's son has refused to return to Greyfriars. The Edinburgh paper uh, suggested a couple of times, would I like to go back? And the phrase like was there, but not really. The recent attacks have compelled Colin to complete his father's work in spite of his family's concerns. When I said I was going to go up there, um, they asked me not to because we would have just, just being cautious. I don't like the word evil, but there is a strong spiritual presence in the graveyard that feels to be an energy, is all I can describe it from the gate. I would deduce from this stage that that would be the way my father left it. When you go towards the gates of the Covenanters area, the feeling within that is definitely darker, definitely more 
powerful. There's been a continuous acts of torture, violence. There's an energy from the place that I could feel from about, I would say, six feet in. In spite of a foreboding evil presence, Colin proceeds with the exorcism. And God shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for these former things are passed away. Purpose of that process, as, as I call it, would, would be to diminish and seal any residual energies which people of a psychic nature could use. Um, that's a sealing part. I would now ask you, Lord, to cleanse this place, to calm this place, to seal this place. Amen. Was the exorcism a success? A week later, the tours resumed. I'm still weary of going in there. There's a lot of very strange things, and I think some of it has to be supernatural. Fear is the most powerful emotion. It's basically what keeps the animal kingdom going, is fear of not existing anymore. Um, some people say it's an energy force or something. <laughs> The spirits remain defiant. For some reason, the gate on the Black Mausoleum crashed. Uh, I'm not sure what it was because I had my back to it. That's never happened to me before. Um, I'm not sure if it's happened to the other guides, but that was the first time. And it was really scary. The Covenanter's prison is now off limits to the public. I'd never go back in there again. There's something in there, and I don't want to experience that sort of thing again. I've never been so scared in my whole life. Spend Halloween night with the five scariest episodes of Ghost Hunters. Oh, my God. Hosted by Josh Gates, live from the Essex County Hospital, featuring special guests from the TAPS team and the new Ghost Hunters Academy. Follow along with live video from the hospital at sci-fi.com. Ghost Hunters Halloween Live Countdown, this Saturday, starting at 7, only on Sci-Fi. Imagine greater.